Hi Crochet of the World. In the tutorial of this stitch pattern, you have the link below of this video, I was showing at the end actually that uh, I was um, working on a cell phone cover and this is it. I really like it and I just wanted to um, share with you this idea. It will be a very very short tutorial. I was just searching for the perfect button and I have here one of my button uh, boxes because nah, I have three, I think. I really like buttons and I like to, to keep them all, almost all of course, I cannot keep them all, and actually to collect them because I don't know when I need some maybe something particular, something interesting, as now, actually for this cell phone cover, I was searching for something interesting and I found these two, this, and I don't know, this one, this is in, it's a wooden, uh, let's say bead more than button, and this is a plastic, I don't know, it's not a button, but I, I like it. And I think it it can be really nice for my cell phone or this. I don't know which one, but for now I just want to show you how to continue on if you want to think you want to make. So I finished with slip stitches here and then I went on on the bottom part and then on the other side slip stitching and now I am here on the upper part and I want to work only on one side now of course and I will just slip stitch it's tighten a little bit the slip stitch actually it's the stitch that tighten a little bit I think it's tighten, yes, the word, and it gives a nice, a nice border, a nice shape of the border. So actually, of this, of the project that I'm working at now, I really. So I will go on here a little bit, and. Here now on the other side, can you see what am I doing here? Oops, okay, yes, because I want it a little bit curved. Can you see the, the corners actually? And now I will go on the other side, And this will be the back side and here I want to make a ring. So actually it's the button hole will be. And I will work it in the middle, which is actually here, and set the hook like this. Slip stitch and work a chain of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and I just want to try if it's, yes, it's okay. With 12, it can be perfect. So, insert the hook again into the same space, and I can continue on. Oops. It slips. I, I can continue on with the slip stitch, but I just want to on the back. I just want to work on my chains slip stitch. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. Three the teeth. The details are very important for a crochet project. I always say that on my Italian YouTube channel. It's very important 
not only the project but also the details actually a little border or I don't know some something to to make it better to make it more original because it's handmade so it must be that okay I want to slip stitch in that chain too yes okay so I have one more chain to slip stitch in and now I can continue on with my slip stitches here okay so can you see now with the slip stitch around it it is I think better what do you think just please let me know what do you think about this little project about this idea to show you like this and now I will go a little bit here on the back side like this and here okay so to create the same curve they like here okay and I think I am ready and I can just cut the yarn I will, I will cut it like this And I will pull it on the wrong side and of course later on I will sew it now I want you to tell me which of these two buttons in your opinion are better which of them please please tell me I am really curious of your opinion so I hope I, I just give it to you an idea of a really really uh, easy project short easy project to make to, ha to have a nice in new um, crochet cover actually Tunisian crochet cover for your cell phone okay that's it See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.